It's 4 o'clock in Cuba, New York. It's 2 p.m. in Boise, Idaho. Just how far a field of morality, the law, and the Constitution will socialists and the Democrat Party go to steal your rights, liberty, safety, and prosperity? I'm about to show you. Without fear or favor, the Chris Alcedo Show starts right now. Good Ash Wednesday to you. Welcome to the Chris Alcedo Show on Newsmax. We'll get to the depravity of the left wing in a moment. But first, here are the headlines trending across America, putting America first. President Trump visits the Ohio town all but ignored by Joe Biden and his regime. In the meantime, Americans enjoy a Second Amendment win over those who seek to deny us our God-given right of self-defense. But that's not stopping the extremists in the Biden regime from ceding control of our nation to communist China. Sheriff David Clark joins us to discuss the implications of Joe Biden's regime and their collusion with an organization under the complete control of communist China. And former Texas Congresswoman Maida Flores is sounding the alarm trying to expose Democrats' abuse of our kids in GovEd. And that brings us to our analysis. Just how far is the left wing willing to go to steal your rights, liberty, security, and prosperity? That dagger in your back? That's the left wing. We feature a shocking expose of the deviancy of Democrats in today's preamble. It's been three weeks since the latest disaster and a string of railway disasters in East Palestine, Ohio. Mayor Pete says he's finally going to Ohio after joking about balloons ignoring the crisis, being focused on too many white guys at construction sites, blaming President Trump, and then blaming the railroad company. Political insiders say that Mayor Pete is being dispatched to Ohio to blunt President Trump's appearance there today. This provides further evidence that President Trump is living rent-free in the Biden regime's heads. Just look at the power of President Trump. He's able to get Democrats off their derrieres, off their DEI woke divisive agenda, and force them to do their jobs, the jobs they were hired to do. It's also worth noting the Democrats' inclination was to ignore the politically inconvenient problem, willing to allow Americans to suffer in the process. While President Trump focused on Americans, Joe Biden is busy putting America last, escaping all of the crises he's created at home, for a trip overseas. Here he is yesterday in Poland. When Cole died, we moved down to Delaware, to a town called Claymont, Delaware, which was a working class town. And, uh, but everybody in town was either Polish or Italian. I grew up feeling self-conscious. My name didn't end in an SKI or an O. <laughs> There's Joe Biden among the Polish leadership declaring himself to have deep ties to the Polish community. You know, in fact, Joe Biden claims to have deep ties to every community, depending on his political need at the time. Watch. We also want to acknowledge someone else who means a, a great deal to our family, Rabbi Michael Beals of the congregation Beth Shalom in Wilmington, Delaware. That's where I received uh, my education. I probably uh, went to shul more than many of you did. <laughs> You all think I'm kidding. Well, I, uh, I uh, was sort of raised uh, in the Puerto Rican community at home, politically. I got my education, for real, in the black church. And that's not hyperbole, it's a fact. <laughs> well, you know, those Polish Puerto Ricans, uh, they're everywhere. A and can you beat that? Joe Biden, a fake Catholic, claims he attended mass. Then he went to a black church, and then he was able to squeeze a little time at Jewish temple in, too. Wow. For being such an allegedly godly man, he sure does struggle with being a good person, doesn't he? Just look at his lawless regime, his violations of the Constitution, his betrayal of the vision of our founding fathers, his surrender to the racist, genocidal slave state of communist China. Just ask Tara Reid how good Joe Biden is. Then there's this. Fair warning to all of you left-wingers out there in the press and in the Democrat Party. Just brace yourself. I'm about to show you footage of your guy, your main man, your deity. Get ready to swoon, leftists. Get ready to faint. Get ready to be left in awe. Would we respond 
or would we look the other way? Would we be strong or would we be weak? Would we, you, we, would, we, would we the, all of our allies, would be united or divided? I know you leftists out there, you're into this angry, stammering, incoherent, gibberish, spouting politician thing. Just so long as they're fulfilling your dreams of empowering government to tell everybody else what to do. But for us pro-Americans, we conservatives, we real Americans, this is more up our alley. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. See, see that there? That's how you talk to a KGB thug. That's how you take a stand against tyranny. That's something you will see no Democrat politician today do because they no longer believe in American principles.